We're going to install a first alert heavy duty fire extinguisher. Professional grade for businesses and homes. Comes with a mounting bracket, agencies improved. What's that, 12 year warranty or something? But you can use these, they have a gauge. When it's not green anymore, if it's out, it says recharge and you get them recharged. So, you don't just throw them away, it doesn't take up landfill, you get it recharged and it'll be recertified and ready to use again. This tells you a little bit about everything on it, you know, about how to use. They say pass for pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. They want you to, to pull the pin. They want you to aim the hose towards the bottom of the fire. See, it says that towards the base of the fire. Then you hold the trigger and squeeze. Now start your fire extinguisher compound coming out, agent. And then sweep. You don't want to hit just one spot on the base. You want to shoot it around the, the whole base to try to pit your fire out. Now always shoot at the base because it doesn't do any good to shoot at the flame that's up in the air because that's not where the fire is burning. Okay, so, got to open it up. They got it taped really good, so I'll use a little screwdriver. Kind of like a letter opener. <laughs> Basically the same principle as a letter opener. And you're opening a package, so. Okay. And one more over on this side. There we go. Okay, pull it out. Let's see, the box is now empty. So we uh, we'll set it up here. Here's your user's manual. All, it's, all the instructions on how to use it, how to keep it clean, how to clean. Clean up after, that's a good one right there. How to clean after using a fire extinguisher. That's a very important thing to do because all the chemicals, you need to get things clean for your food products. And all the same stuff as the other side, but a different language. <laughs> well, you gotta cover our everything here okay so here's your here's our new fire extinguisher <laughs> they don't make these all the that's just seems kind of a weak display they used to be a little lump for holding your hose maybe people had a hard time getting it out this just falls up easy with a touch now so and let's see what else did they do when they packed it and you got a piece of cardboard here, like a toiletry tube. Ah, on the bottom of the the trigger handle, got a piece of cardboard. I don't, I don't know if that would stop it from being used. Being that this is hollow, I think it would still be able to be used. I think this is just to kind of protect the handle from getting scratched. And. Let's see, what do we got here? Safety. Let's pull this back off. Okay, oh yeah, here's our, here's your pin that you got to pull in order to use your fire extinguisher. Is there enough play with this? Yeah, you better remove the lid up. The white one. Yeah. Probably, this is probably put on for shipping. Mm-hmm. I'll have to read the directions because right now it's not going to let you pull the pin out. So if you were to mount this on the wall just the way it is, you're going to be in trouble unless you got a knife or something to cut this. So that's where you're coming. It's good to always read your instructions. Okay, so it's going to be mounted like this. One thing I I think I'm seeing a problem with is 
Okay, here's your mounting bracket. This was around it. Un snap it. Then you pull it off, and I'm right. You need to put it in the wall. There's the problem. This is you mount this on the wall. But the problem is one, two, three, four. This does not come with any mounting screws. <laughs> now that's kind of See, I mean, recharge after use. Ideal for home, been rated. Mounting bracket included. Well, they got. They say it right there. Mounting bracket included on the instruct or on your box. Well, if they give you the mounting bracket, you would think that they would give you the four screws. But no. In their wisdom, <laughs> they tell you that you have a mounting bracket. So you don't think that you're going to need screws, so you get home. Now, you have to go back out, waste more gas and everything, go to a hardware store, and buy four screws. And probably four wall anchors, and because, you know, you're going to be putting it in the sheetrock. So you're going to want to get wall anchors. Unless it's going in the studs, it depends where you're where you're installing it. But I mean, even the thermostat that we put on came with screws. This is so. I guess we will have to complete this video at another time. Four screws. What a silly people. Anyway, so if you so if this is wall, yeah, so anyways, I guess we could actually just show you, and you don't need to see it mounted in our house where we're going to be putting it. But, so you'd put it up on your wall, mark your holes with a pencil, and then if you're using wall anchors, get a small drill bit, smaller than your screws, or I mean, the proper size for your wall anchor. You have a mark, drill, put in your wall anchors. If you're just going to be using screws, pre-drill a little smaller than the screws, the four spots, and mount this on your wall. We're putting it by our sliding glass door so it's close to an exit for the house. In our, and it's on the edge of our kitchen because the kitchen fires are the number one places you have a fire. And they say a garage is the second. So we're putting this on the outside edge of our kitchen, like the dining room by the door, because if the fire is right there in the kitchen, you don't want to be have to run into the fire to get your fire extinguisher. You want to be able to get it from safety, and in case things are really bad, being that we're putting it right by the door, if it's really bad, you can just get out of your house. And then, if it's mount, say it's mounted on the wall, you want to put it back on, you slide it on right there in the the u then it, it's hanging and bring your straps around let me lay this down being as being as not mounted on the wall right now it's a little kind of a little difficult but take it so you got a little hook here for a little for the buckle put it through and snap. Take your little hose, put your hose back in place, and that would be back on your wall, safe and secure. So if you want to open it for emergency. Emergency, emergency. If there's a fire in your house, pop it, pop it open and lift it right off of your your mount. Okay. Right off of the and hanger. And then you and pull this thing, right? It. Yeah, then pass. Pull, mm -hmm. aim, squeeze, and sweep. Squeeze and sweep. Squeeze and sweep. And there is a little horse go around it. Oh. And that's how you do it? And that's the name of that tune. It's then, all done now? Yeah, now we just got to buy four anchors and actually install it in our house. But now you know how to install it in your house. And right now there's a good sale on these. They're $8 off. 
Where did we buy this? Costco? Costco. Oh, is this the ABC? ABC? Yeah. This covers all your fires, your your liquids, your oils, you know. Where does it say? It says Where on here. ABC. Yeah, yeah, UL rated three D, 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 A B and C. A B C. So it does your trash, your wood, your papers, your liquids, and your electrical fires. Mm. So it does all your things. You know, like if you watch some of those cooking shows and a liquid fire that's kind of like one in the frying pan you, your frying pan's on fire you don't take it and throw water in it because you throw water in it or you blow on it blowing on it you're is adding like fuel to oxygen. a fire yeah because what does a fire need to burn oxygen one of the main things it needs is oxygen and you put it under water and it's an oil fire or a grease fire it's going to explode and get super giant so on the cooking shows a lot of times they take a towel and they'll lay over it sometimes they take a, a big handful of salt and throw it in you know i think if the handful of salt part didn't work if you had that time and that doesn't work get your fire extinguisher because Putting a towel on it, if your fire doesn't go out, the, t the towel's going to ignite. Mm -hmm. So why like take the chance? How much is, did your house cost? How many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars did your house cost? A fire extinguisher is cheap insurance. Less than $50. Unless, what was it? Yeah, it was definitely less than 30 It was less it, than it was, 35 yeah. I think it, it was, was like 35, 35. And we got a 35 save eight dollars off right now or something like that or was it 35 after saving eight? i don't remember but either way for under 50 dollars it's very cheap and then you can get it refilled so save your house don't throw a rag on it and take the chance of a rag catching fire don't try to save a nickel that cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars by burning your house all the way to the ground. Yeah, and then you got your go gauge here and all that stuff. All the memories in your house. And this is not worth it. You got your gauge here. You want to know when it needs to be refilled. It says on here refill. If it gets overcharged because of heat, you know that you should have it inspected. Be fire safe. Alrighty. Well, we're going to be installing some, a couple fire extinguishers in the house. As you can see, we got the big one. It's a, a multi ABC fire extinguisher. And then we have this a small can, which is a multi-purpose ABC also. Big one, comes with a big mounting bracket, four holes, hangs on it, locks in, but it's a heavy fire extinguisher. Okay, according to code, fire extinguisher, the top of it here can be no more than five feet in the air. The bottom of a fire extinguisher, they're saying no lower than four inches above the ground. So put it at five inches, six inches, whatever, you're good. Now, then if you think about people with disabilities and things, like they could be in a wheelchair. Okay, so you, then they're sitting down at a, about three feet or so. They say for disabilities act that you could have these at 48 inches. That seems kind of high. So we're going to be mounting our fire extinguishers at different elevations. This one we're going to be putting low and showing you how to do. And this one, the can. Yeah, simple mounting bracket. It two spots for screws and it just snaps right in. Like that. So that would hold it. This will be putting up higher because and then you know we'll figure out the location for it. But this is the main one we're worried about today.
Alrighty, so we're gonna get we're gonna mount our fire extinguisher, mounting bracket, screwdriver, all important pencil, measuring tape, and then four screws for mounting. As you can see, these are really nice and coarse. We're going into the sheetrock and holding. And what we've done is bought these little ends like a washer that will fit that way makes the head of the screw nice the washer holds really good It'll see how big the hole is so then they'll be like that very secure this way if you wanted to you could do it without the washer because these are threaded all the way up so you could put it in and it would be like that. As you can see both ways, you still have threads on the back. But we prefer with the washer. That's because it secures it better. Alrighty, so there's our washers. And our mounting bracket. We have a light switch up here. We have the door handle here. This is a good exit for the house because you have a sliding glass door. So, and our kitchen is right to your right. So you can grab the fire extinguisher from here, use it as soon as it's used up. If you don't get the fire up, exit the door. It's always better to be safe than sorry. So try to put it out or slow it down to buy the fire department some time. Fire extinguishers are inexpensive. They can save thousands of dollars of home repair. So we're going to mount this. Figure the, the handle from the top of the bracket is a couple inches up. We're probably going to put our bracket at I'm about... Sure to Oh, maybe about 34 inches, but the bottom's definitely going to be 4 inches off the ground. So the whole handle thing should be lower than this? If that's what you want. You like something like that? Yeah. Below the counter. <laughs> okay, so... Pencil marks there. Is that about the right elevation? I guess. It's over this way a lot, huh? I guess it has to because the handle. Well, how come your marking is, you know, it curves with that? How did you mark that? Well, this would be the curve, right? Oh. Hmm? I don't know. You're the one who marked it. So we got our two first two spots where the screws are going to go. So I pre start. I hope there's a 2 by 4 on there, or it's just a. If these don't get traction, they're very coarse threaded for doing this. 
for going into sheetrock. So he doesn't need a 2x4? No, he doesn't need a 2x4. But if for some reason that they decide not to hold, we can still put in plastic wall anchors. Mm. It's not a, a big deal. But odds are we're, we're probably going to hit at least one 2x4. Being that there's a door framing here, so there should be two or three studs like right over here on the side. Okay, so we had our got our two pilot holes started. Got in our screw here, first one. We did not hit any studs, so that means we are not going to hit any st any studs for any of the holes. Right, we'll see uh, if these are going to haul good. And if they don't, like I said, we can always put in the wall anchors. And this twisted. Well, it's not completed yet either. I'm on a side. Does that look straight or? No. That is. Well, so much for that first hole then. Hold it where you want it. So that's pretty good. That's quite a bit of pressure on these. You know, the wall anchors aren't going to be needed just like I thought, being that these are such coarse thread. Mm -hmm. And at some time in the future, if it does loosen up, then wall anchors can always be added. Okay, we got two more holes to fill. I just like these screws because they actually make wall anchors that use this type of a thread, a very coarse thread, for screwing the wall anchor in. Now this just saves a big step. There's no, you don't have to pre-drill. These screws come with a really good point on them, and they hold just as well. And worst comes to worst, if you have to put in a wall anchor, you always can after the fact. Just in a matter of a few minutes, you can have a fire extinguisher mounted in the edge of your kitchen for keeping your home safe and safe from having thousands of dollars worth of damage done to your house. Okay, so that's the fire extinguisher. Line up the catch here, snap it on over, take your hose, push your hose in the lock. If you want, you can angle it a little bit, just like that. You can read it, easy to grab, just snap, pull, and you're off and running for putting your fire up. Just that easy. Like I said, you can save thousands of dollars or save your home all together. So. And as far as codes go, they are definitely more than four inches above the ground. The floor. Oh, the floor. Yeah. We're about 19 inches up, which means if somebody put a, a small garbage pill under here, it's not going to interfere with anything. Mm. It's below this cabinet. If you're in a wheelchair, it's at a very good height for you. So, there you, go. There you are.